And then finally, the host herself, Miss Tyra Banks. So that is such a loaded question. (laughs) (laughs) Like a potato. I I know. I'm dreading this question because. Um, so if, if it were just you and I sitting here with no, nobody else, I I would say she's, she's no, she, it's no, she's not, she's not nice. And she's not, um, you know, she's not, um, out for the best interest of everybody that's uh, on the show. It's more of a show, a show for her. So, um, so yeah. So, I mean, I'm just being totally transparent and, you know, it, 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 it was, uh, I had my, I had my things with her. I can, t- I can talk about them now or we could talk about them later, but there were, there were things, you know. I mean, what better time than the present? Okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, through, throughout the show. Okay. So I'm just going to dive in. Are you sure we're ready for this? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so through, throughout the show, there were things that were being done that behind the scenes that were, it was very obvious that she was, um, she had a plan. Um, and, you know, with it being her first show, I think that maybe like she, she really, really made sure before we aired, or I'm sorry, before we filmed that everybody who went on the show was, was labeled. Right. So like, I guess that's a reality TV, but everyone had a label. You had the Christian, you had the atheist, you had, um, you know, the, the girl with the boyfriend you had, so everybody had their, their thing. And so, um, throughout the show, I knew that she was behind some of the the little things that were happening, and I so I had a really bad taste in my mouth about her. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, so so when I I was struggling, you know, with my whole boyfriend situation, and um, she s- set up a scenario to where we all went to this like, and I when I say she, obviously production and everybody was involved, but I, I feel like she played a big part, um, only because, and I'll I'll tell you why in a minute. But so we 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 get to this uh, underground place in New York, and um, and I'm having those issues with my boyfriend, and she says, okay, everybody. Now you're going to go in this room and you're going to go and mingle with everybody. And so we're like, okay, you know, we don't really know what it is. So we go downstairs in this basement type room in New York and, and we walk in and it's, it's literally all, all men. So it's men, 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 and they're all these men in their twenties. Right. At, at that time, I get, they were all in their twenties. So I'm like looking around, I'm thinking like there, there's no women here. It's all men. There's no girls. There's no women. Like, So uh, my wheels are turning because I I know reality TV and I knew that that was having that struggle with my boyfriend. And I was thinking like, oh, this, like, I felt like it was a personal like thing. I felt like she, they, they had a plan and the plan was to get me to this, uh, this, this environment and mingle and chitty chat with all these guys, you know, and flash back to my phone calls with my boyfriend and then me at a club all like, ha ha ha, like, oh yeah, like, you know. And so I, I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not staying for this. So I'm going to go. So I was defiant. I was defiant. So Tyra was not happy about that. So she, she called me and I, I, I said, I'm sorry, I'm just not going in there. I feel like this is a little bit of a setup. You guys know my situation. Um, and I feel like, you, you know, I, I, I know what you guys are, are doing. And she was like, really pissed off. So after that, that was like, um, that was like the, maybe the first or second week after that, she was not nice to me. She did not like me. She could tell she didn't want me there. You could tell she, you know, she had, she was making personal calls to, to me with, through production saying, tell Nicole, blah, blah, blah. And then she put, she would get on the phone and say, if you're not going to be a part of this and you're not going to, but the, the bottom line is, is I, when being the first season and not really knowing what to expect, I, I, I genuinely thought um, that I was going on a show to become a supermodel, you know, and um, that just wasn't the case. It was it was a reality TV show, which I should have should have known. 
Um, but um, there was just, there were little setups here and there all throughout the filming and, and I felt it and I'm not stupid and I knew right away. So I opted out of them and they didn't like me for that. Now, Ms. Nicole, thank you so much for, uh, for that. Now, I don't remember seeing on the show you guys interact with a room full of guys. Did I miss that? And I do have some friends, some of my friends, top model friends here watching live. Guys, did I miss that? Or was that a scene that didn't make the final cut? I didn't make it because they didn't get what they wanted. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It was a whole plan. Not that I'm so special. It made a whole a whole plan for me, but it definitely was in the plan. <laughs> it was a plan. Let's get her in there. Let's get her ha ha haing, like laughing, giggling, like, oh yeah, I'll take a drink, like blah 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 blah. And I was like, Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing I'm not be, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna be portrayed like that. Come one, come all, come all.